The Naughty Professor here, and uh, I'm going to show you a knot that was a tremendous success when I showed a picture of it on my Facebook. I call it the WPS because Razorback is trademarked, which stands for Woo Pig Suey. See, some got some little nostrils going on here. Best done with a red tie, of course, for you Razorback fans. So I'm going to take this down, show you how it's done, and see what you think as well. Alright, so the collar is popped, and I've got the tip of my blade right about halfway between my belly button and my belt line, but I will not show you that because I am not wearing pants. You'll just have to think about that. In fact, no, don't think about that. That's gross. Anyway, so we're going to make our crease in our blade side, bring it to the middle, and again, tip of the blade should be right about halfway between your belly button and your belt. If you're a larger guy than me, which would not be a hard thing to accomplish, uh, you might have to make this a little shorter, but we're going to bring our tail across the top and round the back up through the middle. Right here is where the fun starts. I can't remember if I learned this technique from Boris Mako or Linwood Darkness. Darkus. <laughs> Sorry about that, Lynn. And uh, either way, both of these guys are tie tying geniuses. You can find links to their YouTube channels on my homepage, on my channel, on my YouTube. The guys are geniuses. Check out their stuff. They were doing this long before I ever started. Uh, Boris has got so many ties and so many original ideas. It is fantastic. Check him out too. Um, so anyways, here we are. We've got the tail of the tie kind of drooping lazily across the front, down the front of the blade. So we're going to make a little loop here. I may lose it for a second because I'm trying to look in the mirror while I'm doing this. Loop it around and up through the middle while it is still attached to your finger. See, we got a nostril there. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. Loop it around, up through the middle. Kind of keep your fingers in the nostrils, so to speak. I know that's gross. Let me know if you find anything in there. Once you get this done, we're going to loop around the back of the other side, kind of get that delta shape. And I keep my fingers inside these holes the whole time just to maintain the shape. Once you brought it around the back, do the same thing, bring it over to the other side. Flare out those nostrils and hide the rest of your tail under your collar. This is where you get to tighten it up. If there, you can do this while you're still keeping your fingers in your nose. I don't know why I love saying that. So, collar is down. Do any adjusting you need to do. I don't know about you guys, but I still see a lot of owl shape here. But uh, because of all my Razorback fans on my Facebook, this is the WPS Whoopig Suey Knot. I am not going to do the Razorback call. So, just remember, if you got to be naughty, make it K-N-O-T-T-Y. And as always, be blessed. Have a good day.